Thanks for joining us this morning. Nice really appreciate nice it. Have you. So, Kevin, how long have you been a poet? Well, um, actually, I have experience from 1990, 1988. 1988. All the way through 1991. I was a one year old at that point in time. <laughs> actually, I'm 47. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. You don't look it, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have experience in um, writing as well. Um, first magazine launched was a, a Caribbean publication called the Youth Voice Publication. And we used to deal with the um, developing minds of the young, of the youth, youths, okay. uh, developing minds, getting them interested in more literature, you know. Was, it, that, was that discontinued or is something that still it, it goes It went on, on for like um, from 1988 to, to 1991. All right. And then I, there was a space, okay. gap a gap, and I went on to Writers' Union for a short while. And I stayed there for a while. Where did you at the Writers' Union itself? Hmm? What did you do? How were you involved in Writers' Union? Um, poetry. Poetry, poetry, okay. Yeah, strictly poetry. All right, and what type of poetry do you do? Well, I do um, a mixture of um, uh, local local poetry. Uh, All right. Pan, pan. Oh, really? Calypso. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, our local thing, you know, and, down to the roots. And then I get, I, I get a little further off into what's going on in the world. Okay. You know, like whatever, whatever going on internationally. Yeah, global events. I touch on all, all, and, touch on all, all of that, that as well. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, we definitely have to hear one of your pieces by the end of the. Something local. Yeah, we, yeah, something <laughs> local. You know, we keep it local here on TTT. Yes. yes, <laughs> yes. Um, what are, are some of the other motivations? Is it only um, local current events, or is there are there other things like from your life or whatever that inspire you? Well, um, actually, I am. Um, what 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 inspired me was. Um, was a, a passion that I had since in school uh, to read and write uh, anything I could get my hands on. Uh, started off with <laughs> in the days with um, encyclopedias right. and typewriters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient artifacts yes, now, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So anything I could get my hands on, I used to read and write. Really? Yeah, and I just developed the passion and I took it from there. So you said encyclopedias, did you just like Flip through the encyclopedia, find yeah, a word, just, and, just, just and then write out, on that pull word. Out, write down, pull out, write down. Now it's Google. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, the, that's the encyclopedia now. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. So, so many people use Google like a research engine, but what research. they need to realize is that it's a search engine. Yes. You know, and yes. not all the information that is on Google may be accurate or right. things like that, you know? So right. something people have to be careful about. But back onto the topic of your poetry. Yes. Um, what piece are you going to do for us well, this morning? Well, okay, um, I'm doing a piece called Strong Arms. This was an inspiration from um, the late great um, professor. Um, Ken, Ken, Professor Fillmore. Fillmore? Yes, yes. So All I, right. I got this down as quick, quickly as I could. All right. So I wouldn't be able to recite it. I'll have to read it. Okay, well, right? let's, um, let's hear it. Okay. Strong Arms, a tribute to the pan man. Strong arms with their hammers, shaping and marking oil drums. Strong arms with their pan sticks, playing pan songs. I saw the ghost of Kitschi that night, tipping his trademark hat, dancing tirelessly that night in the midst of a loud crowd. Oh, what a night, oh, what a sight. Pan lovers tightening their water bladders in this panoramic splendor. Tourists soaked in salted sweat. Strong arms manipulate, strong arms hypnotize as they jump and palance in wild abandon. Leaving their cares behind, their winters, their offices, their briefcases, their jackets and ties, their politics, their oppression, their taxation. No more stress, cause right now, this is a tourist paradise, a pan man playground, a Caribbean connection, a Trinbago invention, a strong man creation. All right. All right, Kevin, thank you so much. And you know, in tribute of Ken Professor Phil Moore, and one that we lost recently, you know, it was a big loss to the Pan Fraternity. I forgot to mention, though, sorry about that. No um, problem. I, I, no, I, I currently belong with the Circle of Poets of Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. So I am under um, Cassie Senghor. All right. And um, Nicholas Sosa. So I'm kind of representing at the same time. Okay, all right. Not yes. only as an individual but bringing out as, my poetry, but I'm the representing body. the circle of poets at Trinidad and Tobago. And that's very important so I have too. A, I have my work on um, to give credit. Yeah.